Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. If you were handed 10 billion dollars right now, what would you still never buy? Those rocks that Gwyneth Paltrow shoves up her cooch. I've dreamed of doing this for my local NPR station during the pledge drive. Shut the whole drive down the same day it starts. Gas station egg salad sandwich. Any food wrapped in gold leaf. Adds nothing in terms of flavor, looks tacky and sticks to your teeth. Video game microtransactions such as loot boxes, amongst many other things. Saw a post just a minute ago where someone admitted to spending like $6,000 on a game and someone that worked for a game company said that's not even a drop in the bucket and that their biggest whales have spent like $400,000. A cable subscription. At some point some company will bundle all the streaming services together and put in ads as a lower code option and we'll all suddenly be back on cable without realizing it. I went on holiday once and got sucked into a timeshare room, used some very weird psychology. I wasn't really prepared for it, I wasn't told it was a timeshare. My wife's a psychologist, and I'm not an idiot, so a lot of it was quite obvious to us. It started with a competition, whoever brought the most credit cards along with them would be more likely to win a holiday, fine, little did I know this was so we weren't able to use the, I've not got a card excuse. They then showed us round the best hotel rooms, bought us luxury breakfast and we were in an area of the hotel for the very wealthy. We were asked questions relating to wealth, what car do you drive? Simultaneous to this we were also painted a picture of our host being highly reliant on money, he was poor and had no money besides sales and his mother was sick in hospital. Then we went into a room which looked entirely staged. There were perhaps six tables with couples looking happy and talking to people, lots of noise and cheering. I'd not seen any of them at all during the whole vacation, they looked like plants slash set pieces. Then they compared our bargain holiday to what we could get with a timeshare. George, our host, offered us a real bargain and then when we declined his boss came along and emphasized the quality of the bargain with a lot of, you can't offer them this, that's for premium customers. There was a lot of benefits piled on very quickly and a lot of personal touches, using our first names and offering us secret deals because he likes us. Then the old classic. George is replaced with another guy in a suit. He's British rather than Mexican and George looked continually upset. He offers us a better deal which we discard. Then finally he says he can get his boss. We wait patiently and there's some back and forth, apparently the boss isn't interested in talking to us because we won't accept the deal. The boss comes in, he offers us the best deal yet and looks more pissed off than anything else when we reject it. George looks close to tears and everyone around us is celebrating because they purchased this amazing bargain of a lifetime. On the way out we were offered yet another few bargains by George. There were some other tricks too. It was very easy to sign the papers and very hard to turn your back on people and walk out, even after everyone left the table we weren't sure whether to leave. We were sucked in because we were guaranteed a spa day for a sales event. We thought leaving early might prevent us getting the spot. To be honest it was a decent deal in the end and I was quite tempted. But I just don't go on holiday that often and I was expecting a kid at the time and a honeymoon suite in any country in a 5 star hotel 3 times a year isn't really top priority for a new family. My wife also was quite stern, she told me what to expect when we were left in quieter moments and how the psychology worked. At one point she laughed when George's boss said, let me get my boss. They didn't let us talk about it privately at all, but my wife continually said, if we make a decision we'll make it privately. When we got a few moments with eyes on us, she quietly said, this is a fucking weird con, how do we get out? She told me after it was weird more than anything else, said it felt like a psychology magic show or something. Products with commercials that f asterisking annoy me. I have a blacklist. Edit. For everyone interested, I live in Europe so it's in German but the magic will still happen I guess. Some examples for food. K 
Kinder's Cocoa Bonds I like the product but don't buy it anymore. Not after this, https colon slash slash udu.be slash gzixagz on xq. Kinder Pingui, yes, Kinder should hire another advertiser, https colon slash slash udu.be slash chuua underscore 8 jacks ue. Luzerna Romcase, my most hated, also because it is played a lot https colon slash slash udu.be slash kx one phi y 9 dx goo. Any Nintendo Switch commercial. The fake fun and laugher is too much cringe to handle for me. Edit 2, thanks for mentioning Peloton. On the list. You stumble out of bed, desperate to make it to the nearest toilet. But you accidentally make a left turn after passing the armoire room, and come across a tour guide leading a pack of tourists. While the perky young guide rambles on about Tudor molding and floating arches, you try to casually ask the nearest tourists what is going on. Too bad they seem to only be able to speak a strange blend of Korean and Russian. As the tour starts leading into rooms that you never knew about, you start to hear terms that make you a little fearful. Rooms decorated in classic Omicron per se 8 style, and non-Newtonian hollow suite. But you're still half asleep, with a bladder that is increasingly reminding you of how full it is. And then it loops back around to areas you're familiar with, a quick duck into the nearest toilet to relieve yourself, and you trudge back to your eight poster bed. Except there's already a you in that bed, and the tour group is watching you snore in a most undignified manner. Gucci literally sold a $800 watercolored pencils with a Gucci case for artists. A bunch of artists reviewed the pencils and compared the quality to a $20 to $30 Prisma colored pencils and the Gucci failed horrendously. The case was nice though I guess. Edit, totally realized my phrasing was confusing. They were compared to the Prisma color pencils in the video, like they did a work of art with one type then the other to compare as well as another video even compared them to Crayola, and the Gucci did about as good as the Crayola compared to the Prisma color. Reddit Gold Edit, okay, wow, this blew up. Since quite a few generous folks have awarded me gold, and since it's Christmas, I shall too pass on the goodness to everyone who comments on this post. It may take some time for me to award some of you as Reddit is lagging quite badly for me now. And I'm sorry if some of you might not be able to get awarded as I'm about to go sleep in ABT an hour's time. Merry Christmas to all you Redditors. Edit 2, for those who think I paid money for giving awards, I didn't spend any money. I merely used the gold that was gifted to me by kind Redditors and exchanged them for awards to gift others. Will suck dick for Reddit gold. Edit, that's four dicks to suck. Since it's Christmas all 1400 of you can watch. Edit, five dicks. That's five dicks to suck plus 100 new Redditors to stare at it all. A child. If the child needed money and wasn't getting child support and could be moved to a healthier environment, even if it was only faster, I would spare the cash. But I do not want the child. Just, here give the kid a better life and update me if something goes wrong. Like a rich dad that thinks money can buy love, but without being the dad and instead was giving the kid a proper dad. Diamonds. The price is insanely inflated and lab-grown diamonds are just as good if not better. Also a lot of diamonds are mined by slaves and the profits are used to fund civil wars in Africa. YouTube Premium They're outright advertising scams now, possibly before too, but it seems rampant now. Every other ad is some get quick cash using our automated system for stock trading, or other bullshit that's literally just a scam. I'd rather see the sharks and know what YouTube is doing than pretend they don't exist because I have a shark cage. Edit, because I'm getting responses like ad blockers, vanced etc. You're misunderstanding my point. I'm saying YouTube is scummy for allowing these scams in exchange for money, and then saying if you don't want this, pay us money. Luxury brands known for treating customers badly as a way of signifying luxury. I'm looking at you, Louis Vuitton. 
an Italian car. I've worked on enough Italian engineered machines to know the phrase is an oxymoron like jumbo shrimp or Chinese democracy. A coffee machine with wheels. It rumbles, gets hot, sprays steam and dumps black liquid everywhere. Clearly a coffee machine marketed as a car. You slick Italians out here ripping off rich Americans, you're too smart, but you can't fool me. A house with more than four bedrooms. Seriously, it's unused empty fucking space and impractical to clean by yourself. With four bedrooms, you can have two kids who each get a room. You have a guest bedroom which doubles as storage space. I just don't understand people who get a McMansion with 7 or 8 bedrooms and a 150 SQ Fort living room with 25 feet high ceiling. Crocs. Once you get to your campsite, you're going to want to put on on some different footwear. Crocs are easy to slip on, waterproof, and most importantly super lightweight. The holes in them allowed me to clip them to the outside of my backpack so they wouldn't take up space. If I ever needed to walk across water, I put my Crocs on and they were dry by the time I get to camp. I love cars. Love them love them love them. Fast ones. Slow ones. Big. Small. I would have a fleet that rivaled the Sultan of Brunei. That said, the one vehicle, or genre of vehicle I would never spend a dollar on in a million years are any of the windshield-less and roof-less supercars. They are fucking stupid. Hertz rental car. Used to rent with them all the time when I visited home in my early 20s. Then one day they changed their policy and would only rent to people over. 28. Didn't make a deal of it but presume they updated the fine print. Anyway, I used my account to book a car, my account has my DAB on it, so right there the could flag that this was going to be an issue. But rather than a message popping up saying sorry my good sir, but our company is now only able to offer service to customers over 28, please consider one of our other fine partners, they let me book it, pay for it, fly to the city. Spend ages on a crappy shuttle bus to their lousy rental office in the snowy dark of a December pre-Christmas evening, only to tell me that they won't give me the car I'd booked and paid for. Not a flicker of apology or acknowledgement of the problem they're causing me by cancelling the booking with zero notice. So a shuttle back to the airport and about a half hour on the complimentary Wi-Fi and I found a car rental company that I could use. Sorry for the long-winded answer, but I'll never use Hertz again. Fuck those guys. Sports car, a mansion, designer shit etc. It's wasteful. I'd set my siblings and nibblings up for life and then start paying random PPLS medical debts and uplifting charities. The privilege to use a bathroom. I will never pay to shit. A gold-covered steak, or anything really, at an NASRET restaurant. Trust me. With 10 billion burning a hole in my pocket I shall be going to some very expensive restaurants all over the world, but I find the ostentatiousness of Nusri T repulsive and spending money for the sake of getting clout on Insta just ridiculous. Also why does the salt have to touch your arm, seriously why? A stupid expensive fancy car. Because people can't drive and would hit it the day after I purchased one. I'll keep my same crappy car thanks. Heineken. Fuck that shit. They had some stupid rooftop party ad you could not escape in like 2009 and I swore I'd never give that dumb fucking shit tier beer company another goddamn dollar. The best that beer ever had was being the everything else at this place is $18 default option if Peroni wasn't on tap. NTFS. It's like taking a stupid idea and combining it with a really really stupid idea to create total madness. And still there are people who are exited about them. The insurance plan for any of my appliances. I don't want to put that bad juju out and assume I might need to replace my new lucky toaster in the next two years. Honestly, no big houses. I'd get a huge plot of land with a decent sized house, at most 1,500 square feet. My big building would be a fully supplied workshop, but I would offer neighbors repairs and whatnot for free. 
Fact Oreo. Fuck any dev that thinks never ever doing a discount could be beneficial for your game. Such an easily pirated game and they take that stance. It's kind of pathetic. Ferrari. Bitcoin slash any crypto. Ripped jeans. Gucci. Jewelry. Bugatti. The car, the Bugatti clothes slash accessories are pretty affordable and nice. Mansion. Yacht. Anything, ever again. They seriously expect everything for free, on the off chance that they might do business with you in the future. Tell someone that they are a millionaire and they instantly stop paying for anything. A boat. Never have I ever seen the point of having a private cruise with your significant other and a crew on a yacht, captain, and butlers and cleaners and so on. A Google Home, Alexa, or whatever. Just have no use for it in general, and especially I usually speak in Swiss German, so it wouldn't understand shit anyways, unless I talk to it in English. Heaps of answers here I agree with, so I'll try to pick things I haven't seen yet, although there are now thousands of comments and I only read a fraction so these might have already been said. A ticket to Mars. A gun. Ivory, or other body parts from endangered animals. A jumping castle. A cruise ship. A sweatshop. A mine. A religious text. Anything for a church slash mosque slash synagogue slash religious institution. Edit, formatting. Really expensive brands i.e., Gucci, Fendi, all that other stuff I either can't pronounce or spell. Heck not even Jordans. Mansions, YouTube Premium, food covered in gold, any designer brands, Gucci, Balenciaga, Supreme, etc., Nestle products, Royal Prestige and other MLM products that are advertised, and prized, as the best of the best, Kobe meat, any jewelry for myself besides maybe a watch and a pen, singular, any car from Nissan, Daimler Tesla and Volkswagen and their sub-brands, Reddit awards, animals, including humans, NFTs, timeshare, cocaine, illegal drugs, a private airplane, disposable water bottles, Apple products, a space trip, skins and such on video games. A lot of stuff. I've always been pretty hardline on overpriced items, I don't like encouraging that kind of thing so I'll happily go out of my way to travel somewhere that has what I want at a reasonable price. Also probably still wouldn't buy a game console. I got sick of the back and forth of the console wars, switched to PC and haven't looked back. I would never buy anything else, because a dollar weighs one gram. Multiplied by one billion, that's 1 million kgs, or 2,204,622.62 pounds. I'd be crushed to death. My wife would probably be getting calls from every mausoleum outfit in the country, though. More real estate than I'd actually live in myself. I'd buy for my friends, but then I would give them the place to own for themselves immediately. Buying real estate as investment objects is a fucking scummy practice when people are living on the streets or paying out the nose to shitty landlords. Any car that costs more than $100,000. I don't want to throw away thousands of dollars on maintenance and lose thousands on depreciation. An airline. Virgin's Richard Branson said the easiest way to become a millionaire was to be a billionaire and purchase an airline. PPL will hate me for this designer clothes as basic and as crazy as that sounds so many other options, working out can make a Walmart shirt look good. Cryptocurrencies. Basically anything on a blockchain. Though with $10 billion, I'd virtually buy out every congressperson and senator via lobbying, tongue sticking out. Big truck. I don't understand why people want to pay an extra 10 grand for a vehicle with less passenger room, consumes twice as much gas and is twice as difficult to maneuver through tight spaces. Bentley, Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, Bugatti. Basically any exotic car that the wealthy buy to show off their wealth but actually just let everyone know they're douchebags. A yacht. 
way more trouble than it's worth. Lots of things, actually. Any smart home devices. A Stradivarius. Heroin. An RV etc. Well, I'd consider the Stradivarius. I would pay to have built-in shelves all over my house, though, that's my number one dream. Coffee at Starbucks. I worked there for a while when I was younger and I just refuse to buy the coffee now. The smell of that place makes me think about saying thank you too. Instead of you're welcome. I was told that saying you're welcome. Instead of repaying with a thank you is grounds for termination. Anything that's more expensive than it should be. Apple products, I had an iPhone before and yet it was nice but the fact that they're basically like EA yeah no thanks. High-end cars, let's be honest unless you live in Germany when do you ever get a chance to really max out the speed and even then how often would you actually get around to do that? Anything food-wise, I'm not gonna pay 5k for a fucking pizza or pay hundreds on shit like caviar that I most likely won't even like anyway plus after you eat it, it's gone, done, like you're not gonna get any kind of long-time enjoyment or usefulness out of it. Alcohol Yes I enjoy me a drink every once in a while but I'm not about to pay multiple hundreds or one thousands of dollars for a bottle of wine or bourbon or whatever else is expensive. You get the point I think. Fucking. Car insurance. If I total a car, or someone else. He'll just pay them out in full. I'm not giving those greedy cunts another cent in my life if I can help it. This marks the end of the video. If you liked my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot, see you until next time.